I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to all that whole shit you doing just reflect you. I see your hoe and she going, she reflect you. She walk around and you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Just, just kicking it. Fourth of July weekend. You know what I'm saying. Uh, salute to everybody out there. Like, I, I, I don't really celebrate the Fourth of July. Reason being is because some of the first presidents had slaves, and when independence was set up for America, black people were not. We were not in mind. You know what I'm saying. Like, it, it, let's just let's just be clear. The independence of the United States was not created for us, you know what I'm saying? George Washington had slaves, James Madison had slaves, and a lot of other presidents did too. And now it seems like uh, the government and the, 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 whole, the whole way it's set up is more concerned about the Black Lives Matter movement and trying to silence that than they are with a lot of the other issues in the world. But, 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 that's it for the politics, let's slide that to the side. So Ill Will versus John John and Don. Um, Ill Will vs. John John Adon is a very interesting battle, and um, I'm gonna be honest with you. For John John, coming into this battle, you got your cake cut for you. you know? Ill Will is not one of those guys that you've been getting, you've been bodied. You know what I mean? Like you bodied Chess, you bodied Jack, like you've been smoking, and it ain't your fault because you can only battle who's put in front of you. So I will give you credit and admiration for that because you can only battle who's booked you know you ain't doing the booking unless it's on bullpen but when you're booked you're showing up and you're making examples out of people we must we have to agree with that and since you've been on this terrific run it's been a lot of dope battles that you've had but you're going against ill will now ill will's last battle that i've seen i know he had a couple of uh social distance joints uh, he had the shoddy horror. He got, he got shoddy. He got shoddy out of here. Um, where you going with that shotgun, Willie? Manchester. That was fire. Um, and now he's got, um, and he battled 40 Cal too. I gave him the win versus 40 Cal, but he didn't do 240 Cal what he should have did to 40 Cal because 40 Cal is tweeting every day. He's probably tweeting right now. 40 Cal be tweeting every day, taking shots at artists and things like that. And if he would have got him out of here, like 30, smoked him something crazy, y'all want to know what happened, I'm going to tell you what happened, smoked him, uh, he wouldn't be able to talk like he does. But, since you didn't, you left the door open, this is what we get. So, um, John John Adon, you know, he, he's got Ill Will, and Ill Will is very good in small rooms. Ill Will is, his more of his enemy is, uh, it's not even really enemy, I'm just saying he's, to me, better in small rooms than he is in big rooms. Now, he has had some good battles on big stages, you know what I'm saying? He has had, he's able to perform in front of whatever crowd and he's able to adjust and freestyle mid-round and things like that. Now, uh, he's actually promoting. Uh, the one thing about Ill Will that a lot of people, you know, sometimes give him a knock on is the fact he does not promote, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not known for wanting to be doing a lot of talking. So, uh, he put this clip out, which is pretty interesting. He said, SMH, you even teaching your little Puerto Rican daughter to steal. He said, you and Loso are the two coochie lips that house the click. Red niggas. It can stop the blob. Will, I got the scope on this nigga. Yeah, I got the second interview. I think I got the job. Fuck. What the hell? I need it work. I said, that's not a problem. He go from interview to in the suit. Look like he got the job. I guess they're not a Bitch. I bring on me Big Daddy round this bitch. Sonny Koufax, Big Daddy, Adam Sandler, shit, I don't know. You the... Every letter, stop forcing on the catch what you mean. Sonny Koufax and when Julian spit... Man, what the... Every... Gnome X, July 11th, URL, uh, Yak Fiend app. He said, uh, F your angles. Everybody know I ain't shit. I don't steal, though. He just basically showed, uh, John John and Don... Uh, pretty much using a bar that was similar to his. Get your second interview, I got the job. You know, he said interview, got the job. And he shows Loso, you know, using a similar scheme to something that he had. But, you know, we all know John John still bars anyway. So what is that? You know what I mean? I don't know. He, he, that's what he do. You know what I mean? 
doing that. I'm just saying, I'm just fucking saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. Um, but ill will even making these tweets and making these posts to kind of show people the interest that he has in the battle. Um, John John and Don, he has been on fire though. Like that's one thing I must say. Uh, he's been in different bags for different people and he don't lose often. Like I can't really, I couldn't tell you for a career, I couldn't pick out more than maybe two or three clear, clear losses. He don't lose often, let's just say it like that. He um, He's always gonna bring it, he's always gonna up his game to the next level, and when it comes down to it, um, when you look at battles like him versus Jack Boy, um, the promotion was great. Uh, Jack Boy filled, you know, he filled the void, he was talking his shit. He definitely was in front of every camera that he could get in front of talking about John John and things like that. And at the time, Jack Boy was pretty entertaining. You know what I'm saying? He had the big T battle, the iffy, iffy, freaky, freaky, Mississippi. He had that. And he had the two on twos. And it was building up. You know what I'm saying? Like they were talking their shit. Jack had, you know, the whole little Goonie tribe before they broke up and all went their separate ways and shit. And he had the 59 hours. Yeah, like, so he definitely was putting himself in a position to get that battle. Now anybody would even half halfway common sense, and then they had that jump when um, Twerk had battle uh, John John and Jack tried to jump in. You know what I'm saying? Like, what he said? Uh, what he said? What he said? Don't choke! Don't choke! Don't choke! Oh, uh, he said, uh, "You a whore, John? With these three F16, uh, John F Kennedy, John John." Like he 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 was like oh, John Wick, John F Kennedy, John John with the long jaw, and John was like blah 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 blah. He wouldn't let him. He wouldn't let him jump in, and he really didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like, yo, like this is my battle versus Tori. I don't have to let you jump in. So uh, then he had the battle with uh, with Jack, Black Wall Chain, big viral moment, Zuvi, big movie. Um, and Jack's career really ain't been the same since, you know what I'm saying? Like, he kind of derailed it. I ain't gonna hold it. He kind of like derailed, uh, he put a, he, he, he parked him. Now, he may get battles again or whatever the case may be. I think he should. In this whole choking era where niggas are stumbling and falling all over the place, he might as well. But, um, Ill Will, I like what you're doing. The promo is what I, I like the promo. This is good. This is good. Like, you showing us that you're interested in this battle makes a lot of sense. It really does. You are one of the doper cats who get to battle wherever they want. Like, Ill Will battle wherever he want. And what did I say? What did I say? If you cooking, they booking. He's going to get booked. Ill Will has shown that if you are cooking, you're going to get booked. He battled on King of the Die. He battled on RBE. He battled on Taco Bell Battle League. And now he's spinning the block to battle on URL again. And he battled on URL last year versus Geechee Got It. That battle didn't really do what it could have done and I think it was because they were still having those three-day events and shit I don't know who thought that having a three-day event in battle rap would be good but I'm gonna keep this thing moving you know what I'm saying like let's, let's just keep it moving so um John John yeah uh, the bars are very similar nah, I'm not gonna lie the bars are very similar the second interview you got the job you got the job or whatever the case may be but Y'all are gonna have that conversation where you guys can have it out and y'all can uh, pretty much see where, where it goes from there. I think that uh, John John for sure, for sure, uh, is gonna be ready. I know for a fact he's gonna be ready. Um, Sue Surf has been doing his, his share of talking, you know what I'm saying? He talked about, uh, uh, he was on Twitter, tweeting, tweeting for a meeting. He was saying that, you know, he has 192 hours or some shit like that 192 hours or whatever the case may be 192 hours I guess that's the time between now and him standing in front of Loaded Lux I hope he's prepared because uh, my man Sue Surf has been doing a lot of, uh, of, of a lot of public works he's been in basketball games he's been he put out a mixtape album he's been having fun he's been going live all while Sue Surf ain't been doing, I mean, Loaded Lux ain't really been doing nothing. You don't see him tweeting nothing. He ain't been on social media. This nigga been up in the mountains somewhere. The fucking energy soul separately. Um, so he better be, he, he, he need to be ready. Uh, I know Sue Surf is one that even when he does prepare, even when he's preparing for his battles, he does stay social. That's one of his things. Like he doesn't go into like, 
the dark room and just disappear and pop out. He's one of those folks that he stays vocal. He stays talking his shit. And I will hope that he's ready and I hope he knows that he's the underdog in this battle. I really hope that he knows he's the underdog. Do you know? Surf, do you know that you're the underdog? Huh? If you watch this, I hope you know. If you don't know, yes, you need to know. You're the underdog in this battle. A lot of people have loaded Lux picked to win. Um, and this is, I, I don't know. Um, the, the best thing for Sue Surf to do in this battle is to try to take the first round. Taking the first round will make things a lot, a lot better and work in your favor for the rest of the battle. Taking the first round because Loaded Lux is probably not going to lose two rounds in a row. I, I don't know. I don't see Loaded Lux losing two rounds in a row. I, 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 don't, I don't see that happening. Not in this scenario and in this setting. So for Surf, I think the best bet is to take the first and if y'all can split the, I don't think nobody, nobody's getting 30. I don't, I just don't see that. Now, if somebody gets 30, that'll be crazy. That would be crazy. But 192 hours, uh, he's in go mode. Um, I seen him talking earlier. He was talking about the whole uh, twerking swamp situation, saying that basically um, that more people are talking about twerk than they are talking about swamp and saying battle rap is entertainment. And ever since, you know, the camera crews and all that shit got brought in, you know, it's been more so entertainment. It's not about win. And I've been saying that it ain't really about wins and losses. They don't give a fuck about if you win in the night. It's about you putting feet. I wouldn't say seats because there really don't be no seats and no battle rap. Putting feet in the building and that type of shit. It don't be about winning and losing. If it was about winning and losing, niggas like Danny Myers, niggas like Saga, niggas mad cats that win battles and don't get booked. So, um... It is what it is. Do I? They're gonna continue to book him. Uh, he's gonna continue to get put on cards, whether niggas like it or not. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand. Now, is that a good thing? Hell no, it ain't. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? He's like, and then I think a lot of people. And then he spoke about the fact that uh, he, if you can't, you can't be happy for if he wins the way he wins, like with the whole uh, coming with two rounds or coming preparing the day of or driving to the venue while writing raps and shit like. You can't be happy when he wins that way and then chastise him when he loses that way. I don't think anybody was like too turned up like, oh yeah, that's the thing to do. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it is what it is, but salute to Sue Surf. Uh, hopefully he's ready for Loaded Lux. Um, John, John, and John. It will. Go find that, man. You know the rest, right? Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it there to make it fair. Okay. Gang, gang, gang. One. Don't let these hoes turn you to frowns, bitch, we been up. All these guns coming now, get your man up. I know these hoes got you down, pick your smells up. Should've been a 